My name is Lance. I started working in the summer times and developed into a full-time job. Most of my day was building bridges or doing a lot of physical labor. I've known Lance since he started here with our firm. I've played hockey with Lance. He's a fun person to be around. You can see that Lance really enjoys his work. The morning that the accident happened, so we were pouring some sidewalk coming out of a tunnel. When I was crossing the road, I was crossing to go see the foreman, took a sip of coffee, and that's why I woke up in the hospital. Lance inadvertently walked into the line of an asphalt roller that was laying fresh asphalt. I had a broken ankle that required two screws. I had a degloving of my leg. It tore my MCL and pulled the meniscus clean out, and then I had an open book pelvis fracture. The doctor told me most people in that situation with those injuries don't get a chance to recover. I didn't know if I was going to be able to play hockey again. First phone call with Agnes was a big, huge stress reliever. She really made me understand what I was going to go through. We're not just an agency. We are there to provide this person with a service that should be tailored to them. When workers have permanent injuries, there's a period of grief that they go through, giving up what they have lost permanently. They have to set new goals. He had to learn how to get into a vehicle, to take some steps, to transfer in and out of a wheelchair. It was an amazing journey for him. I took like 15 steps and my feet were like killing me. My dad came to me and told me that, he said, you're gonna play hockey again. That was the, the first time I felt like I was gonna progress past this and make a push to become myself again. He was so on top of what he wanted to do and his goals. It was easy for us to try to make them happen. Here's an individual who got injured at work, had a major accident, realized that his return to work or his pre-existing job probably wasn't going to be taking place. Instead of being upset about it, Lance embraced it. The journey to get Lance back to work took a year and a half. John was always available to meet. I was really, really impressed at their dedication to each other. Failing wasn't an option for Jasmine. She took away any stress or any worry of me having to doubt whether or not uh, the company was going to take care of me. We were able to create a full-time position through the education and through the help that uh, Jasmine and WSB was able to provide for Lance. Now I've transitioned to a safety coordinator. From day to day, I go from job site to job site and make sure that protocols are being followed, workers' uh, needs are being uh, listened to and met. I think his message is really felt by the workers. I love to get up in the morning and try and change the, the safety culture and make it a better place and a safer place to go to work every day. From recovery to healthcare to return to work, I had this big wall of support within the WSIB. I've pushed and worked and, and done all the, the physio. It took a, a year and a half to get back to where I could even put skates on and it didn't bother my ankle or, or hurt me, but hard work pays off. Wherever your path takes you, and no matter how serious your injury or how hard you think it, your recovery is gonna be, it's possible to go back to work, find something you love, and really enjoy going and doing that on a day-to-day -day basis.